welcome to this edition of the First Aid Show. Now what we're going to do now is perhaps go right back to basics and answer the question, why do we open the airway? Now with all um, CPR, we're doing the recovery position, we always say to people, open the airway. And I know you're looking at it, keeping the airway clear so they can breathe. So just have a little look, more look in a bit more detail why we do this. Now with this person here, they're laying on the floor. What can happen is they may be laying on the floor they may not be breathing, but this is not anything to do with a respiratory or a circulatory problem. It could simply be that their tongue has fallen to the back of the throat. Therefore, they've stopped breathing. So what we're going to do is the head tilt, chin lift. We place one hand on the forehead and the other hand on the bony part of the chin, and we're going to tilt that back. What that's doing is it's pulling the tongue away from the back of the throat, therefore opening the air for airway, Therefore, we can hear whether they're breathing. So when we put our ear down, we can feel, listen, and see that the person's breathing. It's a very simple method. So to show that in a little bit more detail, we're just going to use this model. So what I'm doing is I've got my hand on the forehead and also onto the bony part of the chin. By tilting the head back, you see it's starting to pull that tongue away, and now it's full, fully away from the back of the throat. So it's quite easy uh, for the air to go in and out, and we can assess whether the person's breathing or not. So you see how simple it is. A simple action like tilting someone's head back and opening the airway can save their life. It will mean that the air is passing and they may well start breathing. You may well find this happens with someone with a helmet on and they're sat in a car with their head pushed forward. But also one thing to always remember is, you know, just always be aware of the spinal injury. You don't want to be pulling the head about too much uh, in the case there's a problem there. Um, there are other things just finally just worth mentioning is the jaw thrust. Now, it's something we used to teach in first aid, um, but it was taken away from general first aid. But the idea of the jaw thrust is we're just putting our fingers in and pushing the jaw forward and holding the head. It has a very similar effect to the head tilt chin lift because it's pulling the tongue away from the back of the throat, but it takes a lot of the trauma away from the neck. Now, this is not something we do as standard in first aid, but if you're working with a more advanced first aid, then you will learn this technique.